Good morning, good morning. How's it going? It's Chad. I haven't made a video in, I don't know, probably what, 12 days at this point. So, I hope you all had a good holiday. Hope you didn't party too much on New Year's. But, anyways. So, big news, I guess. Well, sort of big news, at least for me. I ended up breaking my juice feast. Yeah. So, I made it to day 89, and um, essentially since, uh, just giving you a quick timeline. Alright, so I've been on my juice feast, um, made it to uh, day 89, and I was doing fruit juice exclusively. There was a couple times um, throughout uh, the beginning there where I did have a little bit of celery juice, um, but essentially I started out with grape juice, went on to master cleanse for 30 some odd days, and then from there I just rolled mostly with uh, grapefruit juice and coconut water. That was coconut water with uh, lime juice in it. So that's where I stayed at. Now, um, so probably starting around, oh I'd say December 20th or thereabouts, uh, I started to go deeper within myself, just at every single level. Uh, if you've been following my videos, you'll know that, or you might remember that on my first one where I say that I'm, you know, going to uh, try to do this juice feast for six months, that I was more interested in what would happen with me emotionally, mentally, and what I could work out. And as a result of doing this, I definitely, I got to what I wanted to. There was just, I don't know. But anyways, so um, some of this uh, experience is almost like translating a dream. It, even though it wasn't a dream, it only, some of it only makes sense to myself. But uh, for those of you who are familiar with, uh, you know, the work of Dr. Robert Morris, and he talks about people getting out there and uh, sort of kind of not being able to stay in your body, we'll say. Uh, I got to that point and I damn near rode it till the wheels fell off because it was just, I like I said, starting about on the 20th of December, my mind, it was almost like it was going south. But as well as sort of my, I won't say my health was, because at no point did I ever feel in danger. So, but, you know, I was sticking still to fruit juice, and um, I was, you know, I just, I felt very, very disconnected, but yet at the same time, there was so much internal work that was going on within myself that, I mean, not to sound corny, but if you're familiar with, uh, you know, ayahuasca rituals that uh, people do down in uh, South America, and how they say that the drug, or, you know, plant friend, however you want to look at it, how it shows them aspects of their personality that are, you know, their darker sides, their, their shortcomings, whatever level of issues that they happen to have. Well, that's almost like what the juice was doing for me. I was seeing so much truth about myself day in and day out without any searching whatsoever because it, I got so drained that I, I, really, I wasn't meditating. I wasn't doing any breath work. I was literally just laying around and then closer to Christmas I was kind of numbing myself with watching some Christmas cartoons in my free time, but other than that, it was just sleep, work, sleep, work. And just so much stuff that I was seeing that I eventually had a, uh, this was on, it was, no, it might have been Christmas Day. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was like Christmas Day or the day after, but I had a, I was on my own and I just had a huge emotional release. And it was just like, I don't know, there's a, there was a whole bunch of things w that came up, which I won't even go into in this video, but, I mean, after that happened, I, um, my, my detox physically went deeper, because by the time that I ended up breaking, 
uh, my detox and the reason being I was at work and I'd had a couple of days of literally while I was working it felt like I was being sucked out of my body and it was a it got to a point where I couldn't I could not maintain it anymore and you know the simple answer I'm sure some of you might be saying well why didn't you drink green juices I have no desire for vegetables I'm not adhering to any sort of dietary lifestyle I'm not adhering to any anything for dogmatic reasons but I just didn't want uh, vegetable juice and in fact my wife who is still trucking along on this who does drink vegetable juice she's up to day 94 I think 95 or 96 congrats on uh, she was drinking green juice last night and just the smell of it was to me was still just not appealing so and at this point too I was beyond green juices because you know having these like it, it would I'd be stacking something and all of a sudden it was like I was like whooshed out of my body viewed some like thought and the next thing I know I was back there and it's unless you've actually had it happen it's very hard to comprehend because what I just said doesn't convey it as properly as I see but it was just a constant you know emotional learning experience but when it came to the physical it got to the point uh, right on the day that I ended I ended up breaking it while I was at work because uh, I just my mind was going completely south and uh, the detox ticked up to the point that I um, I was just walking around doing my thing and then all of a sudden I, I felt just like I'm gonna like gonna die essentially just that like ugh, like if anybody of you have ever you know water fasted for a really long time or you know you hit that real deep level and all of a sudden you're just like your energy is just you couldn't run from anything or do anything if your life depended on it that's how I felt and then immediately following that my whole mouth just felt like it was filled with metal and um, so my and I ended up I ended up going and looking at my uh, tongue in the mirror and my tongue had just turned a complete brown like a dark like Crayola crayon brown and it I just it, it it was within me because I'm now a lot more in tune with myself it was it was like something something just told me it's time to break this beyond doing what you're doing there's You've, you've, you've already, you've run the race, you've gotten so much out of this experience that, and you've grown, you've grown from definitely mentally and emotionally. I mean, in the end, there's, I now see a, a, a I truly see a flow to life as a result of this, and I don't really see a difference with mental, emotional, physical, any of that stuff, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just use those words. So I ended up, um, I bought uh, some dates and I went and I just sat down and I ended up eating like five or six of them over the course of a half hour just really really slowly and swishing it with water and I had no issues uh, digestion wise uh, and, and in fact I ate those dates and then the next morning I ate some, um, ate some more dates and then I eventually, I think I got some yeah, oh, I think I had some watermelon later on in the day, but all that, but it was a solid day of me eating to stop that detox. It was still like, I mean, like I ate the dates and the detox stopped, but like right at the end of the night when uh, I was wrapping up at work, all of a sudden everything just came back full force and I just like, I mean, I plowed through it, got home, went to sleep, but I mean, my, my wife tells me that uh, you know, she was obviously, she gets this whole deal because she's in the trenches herself, she's wearing the robe herself, <laughs> that, you know, you're going to be a bear during, um, you know, like a cleansing process, but she, and so she's happy to have me back, <laughs> so to speak, but she even admits that there's something a lot different about me, a lot more, you know, even, even more focused more grounded and actually a lot more insightful so for the time being 
I'm just going to, I, I feel that I'm going to just be doing things to regenerate my body. I'm not really going to be on a detox, so to speak, uh, for the time being, at least, because it just seems that now I, I had such an understanding and I want to get more information out to people and make, go back to making videos every day. And uh, just there's other there are things too that I won't go into here. Well, I won't go into period. But there's it's it's also a, some sort of kind of a matter of life happening. So there's things that I do need to get done. That while I was in that state of um, you know going scouring myself with citrus juice, which I wasn't able to do. So I need to uh, attend to that. But it's I've I just I'm really. I'm really psyched. I, I have no regrets about the experience. I have no regrets about staying on fruit as long as I did. I have no regrets about breaking the, the um, you know the juice feast. And you know, despite the fact I was a day short of making it to the halfway point, it's more like it's whatever. I just it's there was so much growth and just I want to um, you know get that out to people, but. Um, so yeah, and that has been, other than that, uh, for those of you who follow herbs, because you might have seen my video about detoxing yourself with herbs and you saw the wide array of things, well, my wife is going to still be on the juice feast, obviously. Myself, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to do things like, um, you know, still do kidney herbs, still do um, endocrine or, or, excuse me, yeah, endocrine and adrenal type things, and upper cirque. Uh, things because you know I mean my hand issue it got a lot better but my hands and my feet the acidosis is still real my hair did stop falling out even when I was going nuts my hair started staying in place and then I've been experimenting with uh, something this is actually cool it's a uh, it's called gynostemma tea and um, it's also it's a Chinese herb called Jie Long and I'm hoping I think I'm pronouncing that correctly so and that has some goji berries floating in it but that's a very it has twice of the uh, it has twice the saponins of um, ginseng so I'm just uh, playing with that so essentially building up that kidney energy so to speak and I'm just eating more of a building diet and also I mean my wife and I right before we started this juice feast we had ordered 30 pounds of dates from uh, Bautista out in California and of course if you live in America and you've eaten Bautista dates you know what I'm talking about so uh, I essentially just don't have a food bill for the next week or two because I just have a ton of dates so I'll probably just be living off of mainly that and watermelon uh, when I choose so I still by a lot of people's definition I'd still be on a detox diet because I'm for the most part eating mono and eating water fruits because I still also have grapefruit I need to uh, get through because my wife doesn't she's not down with the grapefruit but anyways lots of cool stuff happen and I just anybody who's walking down that path just press on with it until you feel the need or until you see a need to stop or desire to stop and you know there's gonna be a lot of good info coming down the pipeline over the next couple of weeks and months because I'm just, I'm more energized than I was when I started so there was definitely some reparation within my uh, endocrine system. I, I can just already feel it. So that is that and go out there, have fun, send me any questions or comments that you might have and have a good uh, start to your 2013. See ya.